All right, so you want to get yourself some Minecraft mods. Well, first thing, you're going to need to own a Minecraft account legally. I am not going to show you any way to mod illegally because that's against YouTube's TOS. Anyways, first thing you're going to do is go to Modrinth.com. Modrinth is an open source modding platform. Now, you can install mods directly here on the website. You can download individual mods, but we're going to do the easiest route possible. So what we're going to do is get the Modrinth app. So all you got to do is download the Modrinth app and it only takes a second to download. Then you're just going to run it on your computer and you're going to go through the setup guide after you download it. So I'm just going to have the basic default install location. I'm going to create a desktop shortcut and then I'm going to run it and boom, Modrinth is installed beautiful there's a few other things you're going to want to do before we start installing mods one is you're going to want to log in with your minecraft account so you have to sign in and if you are on windows and you're signed into the same microsoft account as your minecraft account you can go to sign in options and just sign in directly using your windows and boom you're signed in and then you're ready to go you can just go to the little compass here to discover a little full screen modern here so once you go to discover you can either install pre-existing mod packs like some are very basic and honestly there's a lot of really good content here on modrinth but we're gonna just do individual mods so you can immediately just start with whatever mod you want first that's usually how i build my mod packs personally but you can also just go to this little plus here on the left side and create an instance so let's just say you wanted to play on fabric 1.21.4 which is the newest one and you name it uh vanilla plus right and then create you could even add an icon if you wanted to i never do that because i don't know but as it's installing over here it'll get a little icon and so we have fabric 1.21.4 uh, it's still installing all the files needed so the instance is installed but we don't have any content so we're going to go to install content and let's just do a very basic mod pack here are the most popular ones are the ones they display you right away and these are actually usually good to grab like you want the fabric api most of the time sodium is like Modern day Optifine, it's really good for performance. Iris shaders is how you get shaders. I know everyone likes a uh, beautiful shader pack, so that's how you do that. And then mod menu is a good one, so you can uh, see what mods you have installed inside of Minecraft. And then let's just install something basic, like Zero's minimap mod. So now we go back to our instance here, and we can see all of our mods. And we can go ahead and press play and launch, but I'm gonna give one tip that'll help you out in the modded world. Go back down to the settings here in the bottom left. In this window, go to default instance options. So these are gonna be your default options whenever you launch from Modrinth. I like to have mine launch directly into full screen mode. And then I also highly recommend that you increase how much memory you allocate. My default Minecraft is four gigabytes, which isn't a lot for some of the heavier mods. So I have mine default at 12 gigs, but it all depends on how much RAM you have, but I highly recommend turning it up by default so you don't have to deal with it anymore. And then you're good to go. You can just press play and it should launch your Minecraft mod right then. And it's launching. Boom, our game has launched in full screen. It does say we have 60 mods installed. We do have this fancy new mods by icon. And look at that. Our mini map mod is installed. Installed and working. No problemo. Comments, likes, and engagement is appreciated if you found this tutorial helpful.